Hello Taurus and welcome to your October 2018 tarot reading. Um, if you are a Taurus sun, moon, or rising, this spread is for you. And if you're on the cusp of an Aries Taurus, you may want to see my Aries video as well as this video because they both might be resonating with you. Like I see in all my videos, not all these readings will resonate with everybody. They're just general readings and readings are only based on the present energy. So they're not set in stone. Okay. Um, if you would like your own personal reading with me, my links are all below in my description bar. Okay, in the description box. So if you want to see my other links, um, you're welcome to do that. You could also book a reading with me if you want to. Okay, so for you, Taurus, I already shuffled on and concentrated on you. And for your work and business category, I drew the Fool next to the Strength card. For your money and finance, I drew the Page of Wands next to the Two of Wands. For love and relationships, the Knight of Wands and the Seven of Coins. And your advice card this month is the Four of Cups. Okay, so I'm gonna start with work and business for you guys. So, with the Fool card next to the Strength card. So what comes to me right away is that this pair is kind of advising to take a leap of faith in what you do because you will have the kind of inner strength to actually do it, believe it or not. So those of you who are looking for work, um, keep an open mind, maybe not focus on one company, maybe expand yourselves to a lot of other places, maybe even apply at some places that you normally wouldn't apply at. Um, maybe you don't think you can work there, but just try to stay open and because, you know, you might surprise yourself and realize you can do this other job, even if you're not real, like you didn't go to school for it, etc. Um, just stay open to surprises and unexpected opportunities here. Because I feel like, I feel like anything can happen this month for you as long as you leave room for possibilities. And same goes for those who own or, or manage a business. Be, you know, don't become, uh, what's that word? Don't become too rigid, you know, like to, to uh, allow yourself some room to move, um, especially when it comes to decision making or how you do things, at least not this month, okay? At least for this month, because I feel there's a lot more potential for you when you open up to new ideas, okay? It's like exploring a lot of new creative ways. The Fool is someone who is sometimes naive, okay, depending on the card next to it. But when next to a very positive card, such as the Strength, when it's upright, it's him being more open-minded because the Strength card is having courage to do something so it looks as if a lot of you don't really like to take risk most of the time, but this month it's saying to take those risks because it's like it will open a lot of doors for you. And being that you guys are a quote unquote fixed sign, you know, you're one of the signs that are fixed. Sometimes it can be a challenge, you know, going out of your comfort zone, but the only time we, you know, we advance spiritually really is when challenges arise and when we do climb out of our comfort zone every now and then at least. Um, you can advance spiritually during positive times too. Just saying that a lot of times we grow um, when, we, when we go through challenges, okay? We get stronger, we learn lessons, it makes us wiser. You know, the, you know the words of wisdom thing, right? Yeah, follow what I'm saying. <laughs> But well, what's, what's interesting is the psychology aspect of the strength card because the line refers to the um, uncivilized subconscious within us, okay? Which may be subdued by force or by cooperation. Now, I'll also add that the strength card is not just the only power card. There's actually there's actually four different levels of power with four cards in the Major Arcana, okay? For example, the Strength card. The Strength card is kind of like a soft power. It's a very gentle power. The Emperor card is more of a control over power or power of status, okay? The High Priestess is like the power of knowledge. She holds the wisdom, the power of intuition. The Chariot is another power card, but it's more like a force of power or like what they call a hard power. Anyway, back to the strength card. Well, the line isn't being forced into submission in some cases, but more like 
has become more tame in the presence of soul infused with spiritual enlightenment. It's like redirecting that our power of potential isn't always led by greed or impatience. So the full coming before the strength tells me that you may have not been paying enough attention to how much power and potential you actually have. And so being that this is your work category or business category, apply this to your job, apply it to what you do or how you look for work this month or how you run your business, for example. And overall, this is a pretty positive combination. So I would just say, just stick to being open-minded. Like I keep repeating over and over again, this is about being open-minded to the power of your control, to realizing that you can take this on, to realizing that you got this, don't be scared. Um, it's not saying to not care. Now, because sometimes the full card can be a little too carefree. He, he's about to you know, walk off a cliff. He doesn't, he's not really looking downwards, he's looking up. Now, if I had like, let's say the three of swords or the tower card, for example, after the full, then I would say, be very careful about what you're about to do with this risk you're gonna take. Don't be too open-minded. You may wanna stay a little bit more um, prudish. You wanna stay a little bit rigid, definitely. But this is kind of like, take on the potential that you have, kind of like you have the power within you to make what you want happen, but still do it in a very kind and soft manner. So it's not like you have to go and go crazy and go, I'm gonna do this and this, but just realize that you're able to handle what you didn't think you can handle, okay? But I really don't see any problems here this month in terms of work and career. So let's go to your money and finance. So what I get from this combo with the page of wands and the two of wands is that a lot of you or some of you and someone else or you and someone else may talk about a business deal this month and for some of you this may even be um, like a high money type of deal even where it involves a lot of money but this seems more like um, a one-on-one -on -one sort of thing, like it's very personal. Like maybe this is directly related to work or your business category, but it's good though, okay? And I feel for, um, for some of you, this uh, business deal may be something that is planned for November or December. So I'm not seeing maybe, it's like you do it this month, but it may not come to fruition until, or maybe you're making plans for the upcoming holidays, okay? Um, another thing I pick up is that this could be related to um, discussions about someone moving in, um, whether this be a family member or roommate, or if you are, let's say, a landlord looking for a tenant, um, even though this is in your money category, uh, you know, this still applies since rent and people, et cetera, moving in, et cetera. They, you know, they add to the bills or helps or help you making payments, et cetera. So maybe you are deciding to make plans moving in with your romantic partner for some of you. And this is, and this other person may be a fire sign, sun, moon, or rising. It may not though. Um, this may also be about a child moving in, like an adult child, or maybe discussing custody issues about young children. Um, since pages can, pages can often refer to young children or young adults, okay, that's why I'm bringing it up. But regardless of who it is, um, I really feel like this is more of a one-on-one, -on -one, like personal making, a, making a discussions or deals about money issues. Now this could be that some of you discuss finances with someone, even if it has nothing to do with a business deal. This could be, for example, like talking to your son or talking to your daughter about finances and bills, or kind of like teaching them how to budget, or opening their own banking account, for example, okay? But whatever happens, this is more positive than negative for you. So I wouldn't worry too much about losing money or um, you know, spending too much money, or maybe this is opening up some kind of joint account, okay, with someone in general. Um, another possible meaning here is um, talking about investments, especially with real estate and property, okay? And I believe it goes well overall. Um, maybe this is something minor, like talking about or bragging about some investment you made or the talk about a major purchase where you get a really big deal or discount on something like hey guys guess what if you go to this website and use their coupon code you're gonna get you know just kind of like spreading the word about um, something you bought recently and you, you want others to know about it could be you know it could be big or small things um, finding about 
finding out about ways to save money for some of you. Um, and if you, I mean, I'll, we're all trying to do that all the time, but this is a month where it really emphasizes on that for those of you who may have never budgeted before, maybe you realize you kind of have to. Um, but again, I'm not seeing any money problems this month for you, so that's good. For some of you, I feel like you might switch suppliers. Um, yeah, I pick up on that for those of you who own your own business though, by the way. It's like you end up finding out about a more affordable, cheaper supplier that kind of helps you cut down on costs for your products. So keep that in mind since that definitely affects money. <laughs> so that's what I see overall for your money, just more of a lot of communication because the page is, you know, the page of cups, the page of wands, all of them have to do with messages and communication also, okay? They, they have many meanings, but that's a basic meaning of, of the pages also. They're not just young children or not people, not just people, I mean. They're also related to communication. So uh, there's just a lot of communication and discussions about money, be it whatever it is. So there's just a lot of getting together with someone one-on-one -on -one to discuss something about money, whether it's just something you wanna fix, a bud talk about budgeting with your partner, Partner, talk about your child about how to set up an account if they're like a teenager or maybe you're talking to your spouse about opening up an account for your child your small child to start saving for college etc or whatever it is or maybe there's an inheritance and you're talking about or discussing a will like somebody um, not saying anyone's on their deathbed but let's say someone just is, is elderly and they're just or in their late 70s or early 80s they're just wanting to talk about starting a will because they haven't even though nothing wrong is going on with their health that could be it also so just kind of keep that in mind that there's just more of a discussion about money but it's not negative at all it's very good okay or you might hear good news about money and it makes you feel Feel like you have more power kind of like you're the strength card because the two of wands I should have mentioned the two wands when I was talking about the mate but that was more of the major arcana or, or, or sorry arcana cards <laughs> when I was talking about the chariot the high priestess etc but the two of wands is also a uh, is known to be a card of power because he holds the world in his hands. He gets, it feel, I feel like the decision lies in your control when it comes to money. So some of you might actually also feel like you're more in control over your finances this month. Maybe you had a spouse that kind of did all the controlling with the money and you feel like they're kind of letting you handle it more and you're actually enjoying it. And actually I will say this, Tauruses are very, very well known to be very good with money. A lot of earth signs too, um, or all the earth signs, but Tauruses, I've never met a Taurus who was bad with money. I haven't yet, not yet. I'm sure they're out there. <laughs> Cause it's not just your sun sign. Like I said in my other videos, it could be many different things. You're, you're um, numerology light path, your entire astrology chart, but overall Tauruses are very known to be very good with money or handle money wisely. So I will say that. So you can pat most of yourselves on the back as I say that. Yes. Aren't you proud? Aren't you proud of that? <laughs> okay. So let's go to your love and relationships. Okay. There's really not that many people that can handle money well these days. Um, Okay, so let's go to your love and relationships. So we have the Knight of Wands and the Seven of Coins, or the Pentacles. I often call the Pentacles coins, so if you're wondering why I'm calling them coins, it does say Pentacles on it, but I, I'm lazy and I like to say the word coins. Okay, so this is an interesting pair. <clears throat> Very sorry. On one hand, we have the Knight of, you know, the Knight, which is about changes. <clears throat> sorry. Jumping right in without thinking. Um, but the Seven of Coins is about pausing. Uh, the Seven of Coins is about editing. Uh, someone who is waiting for results, I should say. So what I see here is someone is or might be expecting or will expect quick results out of a relationship. Then is suddenly wondering why the results are, are that they were expecting doesn't happen as fast as they wanted to. <laughs> So this is the month where patience, let me repeat that, patience, not that you Tauruses don't have any, but, but patience will be important in order for a relationship to work really well this month because it's sort of like the opposite extreme of someone's like, let's hurry up and do this. And then the other person's like, well, let's wait and see. And it might be you that's the person that's like, let's wait and see. So you might be dealing with someone that wants to rush into something and you don't. Um, so you kind of don't want to do nothing or maybe this is the other person. Maybe some of you are the ones that want to rush in. It could be either or, so just keep that in mind. 
So on one hand, someone wants to rush into a relationship, for those of you that are not committed, but the other person doesn't want to, okay? I'm just speaking in terms of those who are not committed. So, but this combo is, is of action versus caution because it's like balancing the dyna, you know, that what's the word I'm looking for? The, the dy dynamism, oh, I can never say that word. There goes my mind today. It, it's the balancing of the fire and water, okay? Like saying, um, don't leap ahead but also don't back out either. So what this other person wants may not be what you want or vice versa, okay? Um, another meaning of this combo pair is um, this could be related to rushing to move somewhere, but then wanting to stand back and rethink this through. Like if you're already in a marriage or relationship um, or maybe this is not even about a spouse or partner. This could be a family member or a friend, okay? Where maybe there's discussion over someone else moving in, which I did see that in your money category, by the way. Um, yet you're really needing more time to think about it. Um, the, you know, the Knight of Wands is passion, that he, he's all about risk taking. He's a risk taker, but the Seven of Coins is not a risk taker. He's an editor. He likes to do things very slow. He's very patient. He's the trial and error. Um, he, it's not that he wants to rush. I mean, sort of, because if you think about it, he's waiting for things to grow. He's waiting for the, he's waiting for the seeds that he planted to start growing. That's why he stands there with the shovel or whatever in his, in, under his chin, and he's, he's just watching the ground like, okay, are you gonna start growing now, for example? There's other meanings, but that's the basic of it, right? It's like he pauses to reflect on the decision he just made. Was it the right one? Is it regret? No, not necessarily. But he only does this after the fact because, it, you know, the seven of coins is after the night, okay? Not before. They're, they're, it's a, they're, the way I read them, it all depends on the one that comes before and after also, okay? When it should be the, the other way around. And something tells me that some of you may begin maybe questioning your behavior about what you just did. Like maybe you're gonna overanalyze too much about a relationship, kind of like saying, what did I just do? Is it worth the risk? Was it worth the risk? <laughs> maybe there's other areas you want to explore in a relationship, but there's that, you know, second guess if it's the right choice, you know? Um, this could be like a one night stand sort of thing, or maybe you rethink your adventure side you know, that adventurous side, when all along, the whole purpose of being spontaneous without, is without thinking about it in the first place. <laughs> so, oh, you know, we have spontaneous things for a reason, right? So sometimes it's okay to be a little adventurous if you're not. And I feel like this might be just um, a situation where you guys find that like I said, it could be the person that wants to move forward. And, and is this about an ex-boyfriend or girlfriend? It could be. It could be anything. It could be a friendship. It may not be romantically related. Remember, it's love and relationships, not just love, like romance love. I mean, love is love, right? Um, so it could be, I mean, apply this meaning to anybody in the family. Like I said, it could be related to moving in because the Knight of Wands is a travel card sometimes, not always. But overall, um, I feel like you might be, some of you might be struggling with your inner self where I wanna do something exciting this month with my friends or I wanna, I wanna go to these places, but then you realize, I don't know if I, oh, that's what it could be. Maybe you're, you're kind of, um, you're deciding again if you should really make that trip this coming winter maybe or summer maybe you're making plans for your next summer vacation and you're doing it really like a you know it you know how some people we like to plan our vacations like six months ahead of time cheaper plane ticket you know maybe that's what it is maybe some of you are planning to travel not really relocate but you're kind of wondering if you pick the right place maybe you're you know, I think we may go there, but I think we might, maybe we should try this other place instead. I wouldn't say this is always a change of mind type of pair. It's more like rethinking things after you've already kind of went along with it maybe. And I'm not so sure that's what it is, but that could be what it is. So you may want to maybe um, just 
reverse it to where think about it before jumping in because it feels like you guys might jump into a relationship or or jump ahead maybe it's jumping to, to conclusion uh, don't jump into don't jump to conclusions if that's what this is about because that may well be what it's also about so don't jump too hard with conclusions this month because you might find that you know you don't want to make a ass out of yourself and this may not be you this could be the other person because you might have to analyze what you said or what you assumed was going on okay um, but this is not really a negative combination either so i'm not really seeing problems so much here either so keep that in mind okay so let's jump to the four of cups where this is your advice card of the month and as an advice card, the f I feel that this might be advising not to take on any action, um, like too much action. But at the same time, examine your motives, okay? Examine your wants and take a, a good look at what you got. You know, maybe, maybe look behind you. And this may be in unexpected places. Find something that's needed. Find something that's worthwhile, despite what else might be going on. And, you know, you might be required this month to engage in your heart's desire. But one thing you do need to focus on is close the door on whatever needs to be dropped. And focus on what needs to be embraced instead. Okay? So, that's the advice of the Four of Cups. And this is your reading for October, Taurus. And I hope you enjoyed your reading. Again, they may not resonate with everyone. And if you would like your own personal reading, again, all my links are below in the description box. I hope you have a nice day and thank you for listening to me. I will see you guys on my next video.